What's up peeps? My name's E. I sell books on eBay. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whatever it is. Hello, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. It's Tuesday morning, nearly 10 o'clock. So I've been out, picked today's book and some DVD orders. Um, it's 200-ish pounds worth going out. So another consistent day, you know, it just keeps ticking over. But a few different bits and pieces, some bundles, some individuals, some that are a wee bit interesting, some that are just bread and butter. But I like to share with you guys what we're picking up, what we're selling, so that you've got an idea of what you might do yourself, or maybe you just listen to me prattling on for 10, 15, 20 minutes an hour, depending where it takes us. Um, yeah, so let's crack on anyway. First up today, we've got a bundle of Ian Rankin books and they have sold for $16.99 so it's a pre-made lot of five Ian Rankin hardcovers and what have we got? Question of Blood, Complaints, Song for the Dark Times, Doors Open and Saints of the Shadow Bible all in very good condition let's say it's $16.99 that's including postage so that is the first of the day next We've got another big bundle of things, but this time only eight ninety nine. So one of the listings I've got is twenty random DVDs for eight ninety nine. That's including postage. So that's what we have here. Um, people can ask me for specific genres if that's what they require, but that is not what's happened in this case. So just give them a mix, some drama, some action, some kids, horror. You know, it's it's all in there. So twenty of them, eight ninety nine and they post for under two kilos so it's like three quid odd well three fifty including packaging to post them the ebay fees it's a couple of quid i make off of that lot and um, the only reason i can do that is because i picked up thousands of dvds for next to nothing um so just to clear out the ones that did sell for a couple of quid on their own but it's more trouble than it's worth to be honest for the size of my business so I've just got crates of the things. When somebody buys them, they can buy 20, they can buy 100. Stick them into a box and off they go. So 8.99 for that lot. Then we have got Ben. Hello, Ben, of the, the Stuffodium. There you go. So Ben, I look forward to receiving the books. Also a big fan of your YouTube channel. Yay, thank you very much. Lots of valuable and interesting content from Ben, so thanks very much for the order Ben, thanks for the support and Ben likes dragons we've got Catherine Kerr uh, A Time of Justice Days of Air and Darkness that is definitely a dragon and then we have Dragons in Our Mist Brian Davis Tears of a Dragon there's definitely some dragon wings in there aren't there it's kind of, the way it looks, they might be attached to the, the girl or the boy, but I'm guessing by the big heat at the front, but it's dragons. So Ben likes dragons. They're coming to you, Ben. They will be with you in a couple of days. Thank you very much again. Uh, £6.91 for two books. And they go there. Right. Next, a wee book on its own. And it is Tim Weaver. £4.05. So really bread and butter as it goes followed by a bundle 13 pounds and 74 pence that's always including postage and we've got five lee child paperbacks so let's see lee child just keeps on selling uh, i've noticed on a lot of listings people are cheaper are going cheaper there's more and more listings like these that i am noticing i'm not saying that they're appearing that i am noticing where the prices are cheaper but i'm just staying consistent with what I've got the volume of for example Lee Child books I get in I churn through them quite easily at the prices I've got so 1374 for five of them I'm quite happy with that another book on its own we've got S.G. McLean Destroying Angel here we go uh, eight pounds and eleven so somebody's going for the extra postage on that one. So that's that's good. 
suits me fine. We'll make sure it gets there as fast as possible. Uh, so yeah, £8.11 for that SG McLean book. So it should have been £4.12, but they've opted for the extra postage. Lovely. Right, another book in its own. Oran Pamuk, winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature. My name is Red. I don't know this book. Uh, I keep thinking, oh, I'll need to get all the the Nobel and the Pulitzer prize books and give them a read, but I never actually get around to it. Um, so that's from like 20 odd years ago. But £3.80 on its own. Right, I think we've got something that's a little bit interesting. It's only £11.50. Buy three, get two free, you know the deal. But somebody has gone through my listings and picked out five movie books. Which I thought was quite a, a clever way of doing it. There they are there. We've got Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Everyone's heard of that one. Mission Impossible. Everyone's probably heard of that one. The Grey Man. Netflix movie came out, I think just last year. It's actually quite good. Not read the book. Um, but yeah, that's the book that inspired the movie, The Grey Man. And then we have uh, an Independence Day novel, Silent Zone. So I'm assuming that's part of that universe, but not a book of the movie. And finally, we've got the book from the film, inspired by the book about the film from the film. I don't know. It confuses the hell out of me. Uh, it's an all right read, actually. Matthew Vaughan, pretending to be Ellie Conway, who's the character from the film Argyle, and I think this is the book of what she's meant to be writing in the film. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, very confusing. But the five of them, £11.50. Five wee movie books heading out there to a Red Dwarf fan. Right. Speak heed. Uh, another bundle. 13 99 this time. For some Christopher Brookmeyer. Not Chris Brookmeyer, as he's become with these kind of more recent thrillers, but when he was good. Well, he might still be good. I've just not bothered reading any of his later books. But uh, when Christopher Brookmeyer was writing these, he was very much the Scottish Carl Hyacinth loved the Carl Heisen books, loved these Brookmeyer books, somebody else is hopefully going to get the same delight. £13.99 for the five of those. Into the pile it goes. Right, what else have we got? A DVD! A DVD all on its own. So I said the other day, my Disney listing is getting some momentum. And there's another one just on its own this time. Um, on that listing, you know, it's buy two, get one free, buy three, get two free, buy five, get five free. Uh, there's always postage included in that because that's the only way I can actually do that deal. Somebody's just bought one on their own, which means it's gone for £6.49. pence. So that's a good deal. Unfortunately, I've run out of padded envelopes, so I'll need to make a padded envelope. Right, this next one's quite a nice wee sale. I showed you these some point recently. I can't remember exactly when, but it's the original out of print covers from Sarah J Mass is Court of whatever it is series. So this is Court A Court of Wings and Ruin with a lassie covered in tattoos and a dagger. There we go. £27. So definitely these particular editions are worth keeping your eyes open for if you pick them up for even a couple of quid. Uh, it's, it's some good money. So they are heading off. Another individual book. Now I just picked this up. Today's this Tuesday, so I must have got this on Sunday. Listed it and it's gone already. Another winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction 2019. So the one was Nobel, wasn't it? So it's the Pulitzer. The Overstory by Richard Powers, and that went for five ninety nine. And Another one that I just picked up on Sunday and is sold almost straight away. Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. There we go. 
seven pounds nineteen. So all nice little sales. A pre-made bundle. The more of these are list, the more of these are sell. There's definitely something in that there. We've got five Lisa Jewel paperbacks. Now I've got a Lisa Jewel listing, which does very well. I put Lisa Jewel books up and Lisa B Jewel books sell. But I thought let's just stick some up as a bundle, uh, see what happens. So five books. I think I put them up for fourteen ninety nine. Um, ten percent offer has gone out to someone. They've taken it. So thirteen pounds forty nine pence for the five of those, which is a wee bit more than what I get when I just sell them off the other listing so you know that's all good another bundle another bundle chosen by the buyer a repeat buyer if you're a viewer Helen hello if you're not hello anyway we've got in fantasy Terry Pratchett the wee free men somebody fowler fireborn which has got all the inked edges, the book blocks printed in. It's a very nice little book. Uh, the Waterstones exclusive edition. So it is, I really like that book, it looks lovely. I'd never read it, but it looks lovely. And The Queen of the Tearling. Tearling? Tearling. One or the other. Erica Johansson. So that's part of a series. Uh, I've picked up a couple from the same series. But it wasn't worth bundling them together, so I just put them up individually. And those three books went for fourteen pounds and fourteen pence. So oh, lovely. Right, right. Oh, more fantasy, hardcore fantasy, epic fantasy. Uh, only, only you know, you really got to be into your kind of deep epic uh, fantasy to get into these books so they do sell quite well they don't sell massively often but you know it's definitely one that uh it was way beyond lord of the rings and all of these things uh, it's the folk of the far away tree by enid blyton three pounds eighty i may have oversold that slightly but that's fantasy isn't it yeah daft pilkey a bit of dog man Lord of the Fleas, Brawl of the Wild, we hardcover, and the true, the original Dogman. And the three of those sold for £11.84. What do we have? Oh, a DVD, a DVD box set. It's coming up to Halloween, all things scary beginning to go, and we've got Supernatural seasons one to three. Nice wee box set. Everything's in there. It's in good nick. Very good nick, actually. And that sold for £9.99. And then we sold another individual book. Now, I have been switching some listings over from, uh, you know, plus postage, cheap plus postage to normal price just to see which one works better. Uh, this is one that's still on as the cheap plus postage. Uh, so uh, these aren't selling very often now. I I'm, I'm need to go in and move even more of them onto just a kind of flat rate with free post, get them moving. But Max Hest Hastings, Max Hastings, All Hell Let Loose, big chunky hardcover beastie, £8.71. That's including the postage paid for that one. Which takes us to the final order of the day. They're, they're short when I just show and I'm not packing at the same time, aren't they? We've got six Scott Mariani. So I picked up a dozen or so of these the other day, eh, last Thursday. Um, again, I've got a Scott Mariani listing, and when I put them on there, they, they go quite well. But I thought, ah, to heck with it, let's just see what happens if I put them on as pre-made bundles so I put up two different bundles of six books 18 99 each and that's the first one sold so normally I would get 12 99 for five I thought let's put them up as a six put the price up see what happens and they've sold so that's that's great to see we've got them shifted 18 99 and all these are little lessons in how to maximize profit from the available stock so that is the orders there's about 200 quids worth there 
And whilst I have been talking to you, the little symbol has gone ping. Well, it didn't make any noise because I've got the volume turned down on it because it really annoys me when it goes ping. But we've had another order. Oh, we've had another three orders. <gasps> three more orders. Well, i tell you what they are just now. Because I can get, well, two of these I can get packed up. Right, first up, for £21.99. That's right, only £21.99. 100 DVDs. So I was just talking about that. We've got a lot of 20 already picked there. Somebody has ordered 100 and they're a repeat buyer. Dorn, you've got another 100 DVDs coming your way. Again, no idea if you know who I am, if you watch these channels. But you've got another 100 DVDs coming your way. So I can go and stick them in a box, uh, take them out to DPD and get them sent off there. The next one will not be going out until tomorrow and will not be getting picked until tomorrow morning. So I'm not going to tell you about that just now. I'll save that for tomorrow so I know I've got at least one to talk about. But the other one, which again can go out today, is Little House in the Prairie DVDs, series one to seven. I had a lot of these listed, series one to seven, and they have been listed for a number of weeks. I'd looked at the individual prices of all the different series and some of them go for like six quid, some of them go for 20 quid, 10 pounds, 15, they're all over the place. So I put up seven series and stuck 50 quid on it just to see what would happen. A few uh, views, not much interest in it. Then at the weekend, I picked up another set, the same set, series one to seven. Um, and I listed that and I figured, right, I've got two lots of these now. I just want to get them moved. I'm, you know, a few quid into both sets, really not much money at all. So let's let's get them shifted out. So I just brought the price down to 29.99 and that's the f one of them sold you know, within a couple of days of getting that listing up there. So that's quite good. I'm happy with that. So that's another 29.99 in sales on there. And that's going to former Manchester United striker. Hey, eh? uh, who seems to be a first time buyer on eBay because they don't have any feedback yet. Although they'll have a one once mine's automated and gone through. Excellent. So that's another two. I'm not going to go and grab them and show them to you right now because that would mean going to the other room, which would take me at least 30, 40 seconds. And I'm bone idle, you know. That's just not going to happen. But that takes our daily total. If I take out the £12 for the order that I'm not telling you about, uh, £265. So £265 quid's worth. That's including an extra 100 DVDs and that bundle of my house on the little prairies or whatever it's called so i've just found this daft pilky book you know you check them and there's always something you miss this had a, a lovely first avenger sticker just on the inside of the well on the inside of the cover so i'm keeping that that's mine now i am the first Avenger. There you go. Stuck to the desk along with all the other wee bits and pieces of junk that I pick up along the way. Today's orders. All done. It's kind of early in the day. We've moved everything forward half an hour, which has worked out quite well. Get this lot packed up. Get it dropped off. Take it to Royal Mail. Uh, put them in the parcel box. I think everything there will go in the parcel box. No problem at all. Maybe not the Ian Rankin books. Uh, if there's one or two parcels that need handed in at the post office, that's fine. If I've got 20 to hand in at the post office, it takes all day, man. And they don't like it, so I try to avoid that. The big load of DVDs, the 100, a DPD them. Just, it's cheaper than Royal Mail, by a few pence. Uh, and it's that next day thing, so it just gets them moving. Although the... DPD guy tends to come quite early, so even though it's next day, they may not actually get picked up until tomorrow morning, but it's just, we see how it goes. They're not due to be dispatched until tomorrow, because that's how I've got my settings. So either way, it'll be on time and it'll work out quite nicely. Um, I've been thinking about things as well. So it's been the changes to eBay, there's rumoured future changes to eBay coming. Uh, Vinted Pro 
is a thing. I'm signed up to it already. But I don't sell anything in Vinted. I've had a couple of wee listings on it just to remind me it's there. I've taken them down and I'm trying to decide what to do on the forward movement of things. I want to increase the daily turnover. Don't we all? You know, that's always a nice thing to do. But I don't want to double up on the effort to get perhaps a small increase. So if I was to go through all 12,000, whatever it is, titles I've got, and list them all in Vinted, as well as having them listed on eBay, it's going to take time. I know you get sites and things that will cross-list for you. Um, not something I've particularly looked at that hard at the moment. And I'm not... You know, I'm kind of a bit in between things. What I think I might try f for November and possibly December as well, so start building it and creating it just now, is as I pick stuff up, all my individual wee books that are in good condition that sell for, let's just have a wee quick look, James Aylroy, a penguin book, cover price $9.99 I doubt I've even looked this one up previously uh, on eBay its average selling price is about £3.50 so on eBay that goes for about £3.50 which means I would need to be sell, list it for at least three eighty five, three ninety five, just to, to make any profit on it at all once postage and everything's taken into account because price wise you cannot compete with the big boys unless you become one of the big boys. So that kind of book, I'm thinking I will put on Vinted. List up all these lower value books on Vinted, you know, pound a pop, then the buyer pays whatever else is required on the postage. So they'll end up paying about the same amount because I'm not having to dip into the three pound that they give me to pay, you know, 20% of it to eBay and, and all of these other things. So, I'm thinking these will all go in Vinted for, you know, I say, a pound each. Uh, anything that's worth more than a fiver, I'm just picking numbers out there at the moment. I'll continue to list on eBay just now, because if it's more than a fiver, it means that, well, actually, five pounds something, I need to go and, I'm just going to check my number on that one, because it's five pounds something, I can send it through Royal Mail and it takes out all the hassle of getting stuck with a, what's it called? Yodel and Every and all the, all the hassle people don't like from dealing with that. So £5.43 and I make my profit on that book. So. At a fiver, I can get away with it. Uh, that's assumed that it sells on a promoted listing and everything else. So if it doesn't sell promoted, then a fiver more than covers what's needed. So I'm thinking that's what I will do. I don't know, tell me what you think. The Vinted Pro, let's say, signed up for it. I know there's been a bit of chatter about it, certainly a few days ago. Um, sole traders and the rest of it still weren't able to sign up. I'm a limited company, VAT registered. I don't know if that made it easier or not, but certainly it went through pretty smoothly. Um, should I start listing all of these cheapies on Vinted? Or just keep everything on eBay? And I don't like the idea of having, you know, the one title on two platforms because it's just asking for trouble. Uh, if I've got multiple copies, then that would maybe be okay, but not just spreading them out across the piece. I don't know, thinking about that. But at the same time, looking at, like for example, the Scott Mariani books I showed you, how to increase the potential value of what I've got in those. Um, I haven't worked out eBay yet. I'm not sure if anybody really has. But there always feels like there's some sort of limit and cap in there. At the moment, that limit and cap seems to be about 20 orders a day. So those 20 orders could be, 
you know, 20 individual books for three quid each. Or they could be 20 bundles at 20 quid each. I certainly know which I would prefer. So if there is a cap, a limiting, some, some, some factor, I'm not saying they go out and say, right, you're getting this many, you're getting that many, but if there is some factor in there that restricts sales to within a limit based on what you've got listed, um, then I would rather get 20 sales of high value than low value. And I'm not sure that's right. I think I'm just paranoid, I'll be perfectly honest. But let's see what happens if I can increase the average price of everything I've got. Does that increase pro profit without having extra stock? You know, just taking what's there and instead of having 3,000 listings, have 1,500 listings, but each of them's worth twice as much. Would I still get the same number of sales? Would that diminish? I don't know, all these things to try out. I'm sure many of you out there have tried all these things in different ways or you do things differently. So any thoughts on that, please drop us a wee line and uh, let us know. And hopefully we can all learn from each other's mistakes and successes. Uh, I mean, that's, that's what most of this is. Here's, here's the stuff that works. These orders are what has worked at the moment, so they may be worth people going out and replicating and trying to find more of. A lot of them are kind of one-offs. The bundle of movie books, that's nothing like that sold before. Um, maybe I should make up lots of movie books. I don't know. Pick them until they're ready. But some of these are successes that work. You know, there are certain authors that are selling well. Mariani, Pilkey, uh, the DVD lots. If you can pick up a lot of very cheap DVDs, put them together in random batches, seems to work. Certainly, it ain't going to pay the mortgage, but once, twice, three times a week, one of those lots will sell either a 20 lot or a 100 lot. And, you know, that all adds up and adds into your daily, weekly, monthly, 90 day totals. And we do love a 90 day total, don't we? Everybody loves a 90 day total. I've no idea what mine is at the moment, but the last I remember, I'm trying to get it up to 20k. I think I'm at 19.5 at the moment. Am I at 19.5? Yes, I think I'm at 19 and a half. 19.400 and something. So I'm just trying to find the page that will tell me what that is. Now, you're not going to believe it. See, whilst I've been talking, the other Little House in the Prairie bundle has just sold. So there you go. If you can find seasons one to seven, or a variation thereof, I don't know how many seasons there finally were, but one to seven of Little House in the Prairie, uh, 29 99 and they're selling just like that. Just like that. So that's both of them have sold this morning, uh, 29.99 each. And they're... You know, it's less than two kilos to post, so you're only looking at three pound odd in postage. I've got my VAT, I'll need to pay off for that because they're not books. You pay VAT when you sell DVDs. Uh, so that's, you know, taking a few quid off it. There will be some eBay fees to pay off for that. But if you can pick them up cheap, it definitely seems worth doing. I would assume I'm getting a tenner back on those. Probably a wee bit more than that, but that's the assumption I'll make. I'll be making a tenner and the cost of them, maybe a pound for each set. That's how cheap I got them, so that's a good profit. So you need to work out yourself if you know when somebody's charging two pound for their box sets, it's going to cost you fourteen quid to buy seven seasons. Is that worth it? But you know, whatever you can pick them up for, you just need to wait and see. So there we go. There's there's another one going out the door, which takes us to nearly the three hundred pound mark for that lot. Um, Let's see, I'm going to get them packed up and sent out today. Anywho, so they'll all be gone. Right, I'm stopping there, as ever. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, I should be back tomorrow, because I've got that one order to tell you about that I've not told you about yet, and it's a bundle of books, a bundle of three books. Are you excited? Anticipation, this is called a cliffhanger. So you need to come back tomorrow to find out what those three books were. All right. I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye-bye.